What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. We are gonna have another episode for some Christmas gifts. And today we're gonna talk about stocking stuffers. Now all these items I have right here with me today are small enough to throw in the stocking. Great for last minute items and it's gonna be perfect for everyone that fishes. And so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, first up on the list, which I believe is an excellent choice for any fisherman or any outdoorsman at that, is gonna be the Bubba Blade Filet Knife. Now this is the eight inch knife, and what I love about this one is it does fold. Uh, so I keep this one down in my tackle bag. And I'm able to just fold it right back in. Don't have to worry about cutting anything, cutting myself reaching for it. It can be all the way at the bottom, easy to find great choice the uh, handle on this is a nice rubber it's got a great grip to it the blade is nice and flexible so I love it for filleting fish I use it for cutting bait as well if I need to uh, but this is the first item it is an excellent choice for any fisherman woman or outdoorsman moving on along the line I have some scissors now if you do a lot of fishing I personally fish with braid a lot braid can sometimes be tough to cut with the cutters on the pliers and so scissors are definitely great for cutting the braid as well as if you're fishing with any fish gum or fish bite I use these scissors a lot for cutting that so I never leave the house without scissors if I'm going fishing these are just the cheap Rapala I think they're like four or five dollars something like that uh, but definitely a must-have easy to throw in the stocking if you do throw it in the stocking might want to cover up that tip, although it's not too pointed. Don't want to cut yourself reaching for a pair of scissors in the stocking now, do you? Speaking of fish gum and fish bites, we'll move on to that. These are an absolute must if you're doing surf fishing. Now, I personally use a lot of the fish gum, but I do always have fish bites on hand as well. Uh, both of them are an excellent choice. I'm going to be doing a video here coming up soon comparing the two. Is one better than the other? I don't know. But what I do know is you always want to have both of them on hand. Now the fish bites you can get on Amazon. I got it linked down below. The fish gum you can get at some local tackle stores. You can get it on their website. Uh, sometimes they are sold out. But he did just move into a new facility. He's going to be ramping up production and hopefully you'll be able to get them a lot easier. But I'll have his website linked down below. Y'all go check him out. Hope you can get your hands on some. Sticking with the same kind of theme, we got some gulp soft plastics. Now just about everybody that does some fishing, whether it's off the beach, in shore, uh, fresh water, salt water, doesn't really matter. You know gulp soft plastics you're going to use them for something whether you're bass fishing fishing for some speckled trout or redfish snook anything like that the gulp is going to be a great choice these here are the um, the orange ghost shrimp I've caught a lot of redfish and some trout off of these uh, the paddle tails work great as well whatever your man likes or your woman likes but the gulp is always a great option and next we got the leader material. Anybody that does fishing needs leader material. We go through a lot of leader. And so in this one, I got some mono. This is the anti. I got the, uh, this is 30 pound. I use this a lot on my, on my jigs, throwing diamond jigs or anything like that. If I'm catching blue fish or Spanish. And then on this one, I got some fluorocarbon. This is just the leader I use mostly for catching whiting. Um, but any fluorocarbon or mono leader, anywhere from the 10 pound on up to 50 pound is kind of kind of where I'm at. I use 15 pound mono and fluoro the most doing surf fishing. Uh, so 15 to 20 if you're surf fishing or just throw an assortment in there because most of us are going to have anywhere from the 10 to the 50 pound if we're doing a wide range of fishing. Um, next up I got the pyramid sinkers again another absolute must for surf fishing now if you're curious what size to get I think three ounce is probably the one I throw the most but I always keep a two three or four ounce weight with me 
at all times. If it is pretty calm, I'll throw two ounce weights. If it's pretty moderate, I'll throw three ounce weights. If the, if the surf is rough, I will throw a four ounce. If a four ounce does not stick, I'm usually just gonna go home and it's not worth fishing in it. Uh, there also are some Sputnik weights. I don't personally have any right now, but they kind of got some prongs that dig down into the sand. They are an excellent choice as well. I'll have all that linked down below. Y'all go check it out. Easy to throw in the bag. Unfortunately, we go through a lot of them because sometimes it happens. You sling a weight off while you're casting your bait out there trying to launch it beyond the bar or you get cut off by some sharks or bluefish, anything like that. So we can kind of burn through some lead. So weights are an awesome choice. And last, but certainly not least, is the buffs. Now, buffs were cool in fishermen before we got into uh, everything that's going on right now in the world. Now everybody and their mother is wearing a buff, um, but we like using them fishing. Helps keep the sun off of your face, helps keep the wind off of your face. And so it's always nice to have multiple options. But uh, again, with everything going on in th this world, you pretty much need a buff just to go anywhere or some sort of face covering. Um, so a buff is definitely a great thing to throw in the stocking. I hope all of these choices helps you out. I hope you can pick one of these to, to throw in the stocking for your fisher man or fisher woman in your life. Um, drop me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these items you're going to be purchasing. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed because we got an awesome video of fish gum versus fish bites. Full on comparison. Which one's better? That's coming up here soon. So make sure you are subscribed. Ding the notification bell. And until next time, y'all take care.